Hey guys, Nomus RC. So, similar to the uh, dual pickup that I set up on my hydro boat, so it has the one pickup that comes through the rudder, and then I bought off of Amazon another pickup, and I made a hole in here, and then I ran it all the way through, and it actually goes into a Y splitter right here, goes into two sides of the ESC, so this this Flycolor 120 ESC actually has two inlets and two outlets, and they're actually separated from each other. It's not just all one reservoir inside there. So I ran basically one tube up here, and then I split it into two. And then I ran two tubes out of here and split it back into one. And then it actually shoots out right here, which is really cool. Uh, I like this much better than it coming out of the side or out of the back. Like one of these comes out of the back and you can't see them. You don't know if water is flinging through your system, how well it's working. This is beautiful because when you're driving, you get a direct stream straight out of the boat and you can see the amount of pressure, uh, water pressure that your cooling system has. So the way that this boat is set up is the, the original cooling system is now just for the motor. And then I set up this extra pickup and cooling system just for the ESC. So they each have separate uh, cooling. So <clears throat> the Sonic Wake, I noticed, does get pretty hot. So I figured that I would, and, and to be honest, this, this right here, it, it barely leaks water out. This one spits water. Like it shoots a stream at least a couple foot high. So it works really well. And the pickups that I use, like I said, I got them off of Amazon. They have this nice uh, angle cut so that when it's going through the water like this, the water is forced to shoot straight up this thing. And the tube itself is much bigger in diameter than what most of this other stuff is. The diameter of this is just friggin' tiny. And I'm also going to do the same thing on the exit. I'm going to put it on the top of the boat so that I can see it shoot, slinging out. Um, and then I know that my cooling system is working properly. And this is going to be cooling again for the ESC, because that's the more crucial thing. And then the original cooling that's on the Sonic Wake uh, that comes through the, uh, the rudder, I'm going to leave that just with the motor. And so I've already kind of hooked that up a little bit. <clears throat> so you have it coming into the motor, and then it did go from the motor into the ESC. And so I just put a coupler in here, and then I shortened the lines a little bit, and now it just ejects directly out the side. So the motor is going to get all the cooling from the uh, from the rudder and then we're going to set up separate cooling for the ESC. So something that I saw Ironclad do online and uh, shout out to him because it's very helpful and to be honest I completely agree with him. So when you're looking at the diameter of these hose connections uh, they're really really almost like like a needle thin is ridiculous. Uh, now myself, I use cobalt bits for almost everything that I do anymore because they just rip through metal so much easier. Um, so I actually took uh, and, and made it this size. I'd have to look and see what size that this is, but regardless, uh, just get one that's not going to be so big that uh, you accidentally drill through the sides. You know, you just want to make the hole a bit bigger. And uh, I probably made it about a about a quarter of the size bigger than what it was. And even on camera here. And then you can see straight through the right one. Now before I drilled these out on camera. Uh, I couldn't actually see through them. It, it, it either looked like a pinhole or like there was nothing. Uh, and then after I drilled them out. Uh, I put water in my mouth. Attached a tube to here and blew through it. Uh, on both sides to get all the shavings and all that stuff out. And you see it all pour out into your sink. Um, and then I did it again a couple of times for good measure just to get everything out of the inside of there. I mean, I guess you could have dismounted these uh, water couplers off of here. I didn't. No big deal. Uh, but anyway, so we got those bored out. And then, like I said, we're going to set up a separate system just for the ESC so that we get maximum cooling. Well, I was trying to figure out where I'm going to wind up putting this second pickup. Because there's a lot of stuff on the back of this boat already, so there's not much space. Uh, you have these two big holes for it to auto self-right. 
you know, you have your trim tabs, which I've taken this trim tab off of this side, and I've taken this turn fin off of this side. Um, and the reason I did that is because I started placing this thing around, and I thought, you know, right on my stinger looks about perfect. And so what I did is I actually turned the nozzle so that it's like that. So that when we have this thing sideways, it's going to be picking up water perfectly. And so what I think I'm going to do is install it just like that. And that will plant it plenty far down in the water. And uh, it'll even give us the option that we can tilt it forward a little bit if we want to as well, which is just going to make it crazy. So let's get this mounted up and then we'll figure out where we're going to put a hole uh, for the hose to go in for a second cooling system. So for boat plumbing, I actually like to use these things. Uh, I'll put a link to them off of Amazon. They're just for uh, air pumps for a fish tank. And you got right angles, you got ones that split off into three. And then the one that I'm going to use for this is this one right here. So I made my hole in there right here. And we're actually just going to put this right on into it. Boom. Fits in there like a glove. And then we'll just pop this right onto there. And then we'll be all set. And I think I am actually going to angle this so that the water is coming in even yet at an angle. So let's get this mounted up and then we'll run the hose through the interior. All right, boom, we got that done. We don't even need a spring in here. This is perfect. No creases, no kinks, no nothing. It's angled. It's going to shoot right the freak up in there. And we have a little thing here that we can change the tube if we ever need to or whatever. We have an adapter just on there. So I did go ahead and bore out the hole that I'm going to use for the exit. And then I'm going to get this thing in there. And I just put some shoe goo around it. Okay, we got all this hardware mounted back up. Got the trim tab, got the turn fin. I got the turn fin angled the way that I want it. Uh, so, something that I did notice that I didn't see before is I actually have a uh, rubber drain plug. Did not notice that. Not that this boat ever takes on much water. But uh, that's kind of cool. Alright, let's continue with the ESC install. Alright, so I have all the plumbing done on the ESC that I want. Uh, this is the way that I'm going to be doing it. So that piece right there is going to go up to our exit. And this piece right here is going to come back to uh, the pickup. And I did use springs on a lot of this because it was very, very prone to kinking up. Especially this one right here because it has to press up against this portion of the hull that takes on water for you to self-right. Uh, let me get this installed and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, there we go. That's all done. So we got the new hardware in the rear. All right. We got from here, this new hole that we put in. And I put a little air hose coupler in here. And then that comes to this hose right here. And then this hose right here comes and uh, interacts with the ESC in this way. And I said I put uh, springs down in here so that we don't get any kinks in the hose. Um, but it goes Y into there. And then it shoots out. And there's a Y right here that comes on up, as you can see. And it goes straight to that, which will eject water directly out of the top of the boat. So that we can see that our cooling system is always working properly. Now the big difference in this as opposed to how the factory had it is they had the cooling coming in to the motor here, the motor jacket. Then they had it going out from the motor jacket into this first one here. And then it went across the ESC and then it did an immediate loop to come around and come back out here. And then it exited the boat here. Now the problem with that, that I did notice, number one, we bored out the fittings that the air tubes connect to. So that's, that makes a big difference. But one of the bigger things, they just had a little bit of a U right here. And it's not good to come around here, 
with a bunch of pressure and then just have a tiny little U that then brings it and ejects it back out, right? I don't want the water going like, I don't want the water going like this, okay? I want the water to come in, go across the ESC, and then get the hell out. Because uh, that's the way that I did it on this one here, and it has worked beautifully, and that thing stays ice cold. So we'll get a running video of this pretty soon, and uh, I'll make sure and get this on video. We'll see this thing just rocketing water up out of it. And that is how you upgrade the cooling system on your Sonic Wake boat. As always, guys.